All right, welcome everyone. Obi Wan Kenobi here. Uh, today's today's video is going to be about the new Corrado BFS. Uh, it's a BFS reel that is actually available in the U.S. retail. There's no sort of like secondhand doing this that. Uh, usually they're over they're available over in Asia. Uh, the first one that came out was act it was from Shimano that I remember uh, back in 2012. Uh, before that there was some uh, there's some spools that you'd be able to put into like existing reels and bearings. But this is straight up out of the box, uh, ready to perform. And I'm gonna see how this is on the water. I'm using a lighter line, lighter rod, and it's a shallower spool. It's exactly like you pretty much would for a normal bait casting reel. You just have to have a little bit, you just have to have expectations, just kind of start with your brakes high and then slowly back them down until you get to a comfortable uh, position. But it's it's really, it's easy but hard to explain at the same time. So with the BFS reel, it's exactly like casting a normal bait casting reel. All of them, it's just lighter lures. Everything's downside. I was right there on a weightless fluke right there. I was able to just dance that along the surface, right in the right in some of that thick willow there. Not a huge fish. I mean, it felt huge on this rod, but that's that's uh, what BFS is all about and making these small fish fun. Now, one thing for me, the the Crado BFS, it, it has been casting really well so far. Um, it gives me a lot of confidence to be able to pitch into a lot of this. Like, this is really clear water that I'm fishing here. It has a lot of laydowns and stuff that those bass like to hide up in, and the bigger bluegill too. So I'm able to, I'm able to still be able to control my lure uh, between getting over those those uh, laydowns that are in the water, and also a lot of the cedar trees that hang over the side of the. Got it right there. Keep it on top. There is that exciting drag sound too. I should say that. It's just like a clicking drag, so it kind of sounds like a spinning reel. So one thing that's nice with BFS gear, I'm running 7-pound fluorocarbon right now. I'm able to pitch into stuff like this uh, using 7-pound fluorocarbon and a spinning reel. It's a, it's a little difficult uh, just because of the... Uh, how the line comes off the spool and how it winds back on. It, it causes a lot of line twist with this heavier uh, fluorocarbon like this. But off a of bait casting reel, seeing how it comes straight off the spool and straight back on the spool, there's far less line twist. So I'm able to use those heavier lines with these lighter lures and not have, not have any issues with line twist. But pitch is out there pretty flat. Uh, it, it's, it's a little bit on the fast side, but it really depends on how you set your brakes too. I like to have a really fast low trajectory when I'm pitching and then I just use my rod tip and my thumb to control where I, I put the lure. And the transition from pitching to casting is really nice. I know that sometimes uh, you can set up a ooh, there is some bass over there. You can set up a you can set up a reel to pitch really well and then you have to change the brakes to be able to cast without backlashing. I, I've been I've been finding the transition pretty uh, pretty normal with the Corrado BFS. This actually skips really well. I, I actually, for me having my Aldebaran or like my Scorpion or anything like that, I've never really tried skipping with it because I, I, I just used it mainly for like panfish. I never really used it in a bass setting, but that thing skips really nice. I, I'm very surprised. So one thing I have noticed with the Retrieve is that it is a little, it does have that little like woo 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 sound to it. Um, a lot of times that, that can go away with uh, a lot of times that can go away with uh, a little bit of putting a little bit of grease on the gears and such. But sometimes, I mean, I've had I've had high-end reels come kind of dry too, but it still feels smooth. It just has that little weird whine to it right now. It is nice to be able to uh, use your thumb to feather the lure down, and also like your rod tip, just like your traditional, like you're casting like a 5/8 ounce bass jig uh, plus a trailer. Kind of able to cast the like say like a small Ned rig or the shaky head kind of in the same way. So just think of like the way that you can manipulate your jig 
you know, when you're casting, skipping, all that stuff, it's kind of the same thing with the BFS setup. It's just downscaled a little bit. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom, there we go. That's another nice one. Ooh, that's a little bit better one. ergonomics of it it's pretty much if you've used the Corrado 70 or like a 50 size uh, Shimano it's pretty much the same exact like type of frame it's real small like I have like medium to smaller size hands and it's really comfortable to be able to palm this thing one thing for me is I like to put my hand around the front of the reel and there's more than enough space the reel still sits low on the the reel seat but there's more than enough space for me to still put my hand around have my thumb in the front and if you do want to touch your line you can do that as well that's one really good thing for me. So that's why, I, and my finger almost tucks underneath it a little bit. So it's really comfortable and compact. Although it's not like as small as the Aldebaran or like the Alpha's Air TW, it still feels really small because your hands just fit exactly like, at least mine fit really good on it. Got one. See, that was that was loads of fun. So if like this this lake here, it's really clear lake. It's a really clear lake. It's mainly a trout lake, but there are uh, well, that thing is slimy. But there are a lot of small bass in here too, especially up in the. It's almost like a two-stage fishery. You got warm water species up shallow, then uh, it gets really deep, and that's where all those trout hang out. But it's really fun if you if you are or if you pond hopping, you do a lot of you, you fish a lot of ponds and such uh, for bass. It's really fun rod that you can still get that fun factor out of like you know those one or two pound bass. But having enough backbone to just in case you are like say you're tournament fishing and you're using this as a tool for finesse fishing instead of just for fun, you could easily you could easily uh, steer some nice sized bass with this still too. So you can still get some good positive hook sets. So this isn't. It's not a thick gauge hook, but it is actually a, a pretty, uh, it's, it's kind of like somewhere in the middle. And I can still drive that, ho that hook home pretty good. Uh, a, lot, a lot of times with, uh, a lot of times with, when you're using spinning gear, if you're using a little bit heavier hook, you can't really drive the hook home all that well, just how the, the rods are. That's a, for me, that's another uh, plus for BFS fishing, just speaking straight functional, not even the fun factor, is that when you're trying to finesse fish with lighter lures, like lighter lures, but you need a little bit heavier hook so you can steer this fish away still. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any better tool to be able to do it. All right, so, um, so far my impressions of this reel are really, really good. Uh, it does exactly what I want it to do, and that's finesse bass fish, and that's exactly what it's labeled for. I got a lot of different BFS reels that I tuned to be able to cast like super light lures for like stream, trout, and panfish. Uh, is this going to do that out of the box? I don't know. But I know it casts like this lightweight fluke right here. Just super, that's that's pretty light. In most cases, you're gonna have to use spinning gear for that. Uh, as you saw with those bass that I was catching, I was able to hook them, like watch the watch the lure, cast it where I needed to, and decisively bring them in. Uh, with the spinning reel, it'd be a little bit different. I wouldn't be casting into the wood as much and stuff like that. So if you want to see more of this reel in action or just BFS fishing in general, uh, subscribe down below. Also comment what else you want to see with this reel. Uh, like, this is my first time using it, so I'm going to want to be able to, um, I still want to grow too. I know you guys are going to have a lot of questions about it, so just comment down below and I'll answer them. Thanks.